Dear Danube Networkers, dear friends of the Danube region and uh, dear friends everywhere you, uh, you are. My name is Carmen Stadelhofer and I like to open this session, the third session of the Danube Networkers, Connecting People in Time of Corona by Culture. We are not professionals and uh, so you will enjoy some friends singing and playing for us this evening for to give us a feeling to be together. Today is a special day for the Germans at least. We have our Easter festivity and in some of your countries it will be next week. And so we will have some contributions speaking about traditions in Bulgaria, in Serbia, in Romania and in Germany. And we will learn what we have in common and um, we will see that there are all, also differences. Our aim is to be in contact, to meet friends and to get new friends by this session. And so I will especially uh, welcome those who are newcomers in this evening. And uh, you will present yourself now shortly with name and uh, where you are coming from. And then we will start the program. The program is, a, as I said, a program made by different uh, friends uh, we know or who joined us. And uh, starting will uh, Ulrich Petri with a piece of Telemann and he will uh, play himself and he will also present his orchestra, uh, which cannot be with us this evening. Have a good evening and enjoy. Doing. <laughs> Let's go. Well, this was uh, the live music. Normally, I play in a group uh, on rock concerts, and I hope the technology will now work. And I play uh, you now one of our last concerts. Just a minute of music. Okay, I start. Thank you. 
1730. Okay, that was it. I now hope to get out. No, don't manage. Uh, can somebody? Yes, it's all okay, Ulrich. Thank you. And, uh, Thank you very much. Uh, very nice. I would like to uh, show you a bit. That's very nice. So much, uh, of our group, but it's okay. How many you are in this group? We are nine persons. Can no, I, I really don't yeah, manage to get back. Okay. Uh, we will do it later if it's not <laughs> now. Let's continue. <laughs> Let's continue. And we will hear something about Bulgarian Palm Sunday tradition. Svetlana Angelova from Bulgaria. She is speaking about Bulgarian traditions, especially on Palm Sunday. It's today. Palm Sonntag is in uh, Bulgarian heute und Ostern nächste Woche. Uh, hello everyone. Today is the one of the best and most powerful three holidays here, Palm Sunday. It is dedicated to the Zolan welcoming of Jesus Christ to Jerusalem with and branches. In Bulgaria, the symbol of the holiday are the willow branches, sanctified in the church, which everyone brings to their home for health. On the last Sunday before Easter, everyone celebrates, but especially the people named after force. On the occasion of our holiday, Palm Sunday, and yours, Easter. My grandmother is going to sing a Bulgarian folk song. It's about a girl named after a four who get up early and start preparing for the holiday to welcome her guests. The song also wishes all the people here health and good luck. Uh, and we wish you heartily to be healthy, happy and smile. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now we are curious to hear your song. Thank you. Liliana Moma Kubava, Liliana Bihala Bulgarko, Yastani Ranov Nedilia, Prasna Pugacha, O Messi, Prasna Pugacha, O Messi. Dobri si gosti posrešni, srojno givino počerpi i vlaga duma izreči. Velik den dojde, ger gjo v den ide, i posle goljam Petrov den. Na vsički hora zdrave želajem, ko smeti bereke. Nekad bude vsički štosljivi, da se veselim. Vse, ki smivka pe igraje, da je blagosloven. Hrjasna pogača o mesi, rundu mi vino počerpi. Bojno mi vino počerpi i blaga duma izreči. Liljana bjala bolgarko, Liljana moma kubava. Srešni si gosti posrešni, sred celo nasred megdana. Velik den dojde, ger ga ovde nidi. 
и после голям Петровец. На всички хора здраве желаем късмети береке. Нека да бъдем всички щастливи, да се веселим. Всеки с усмивка пе и грае, да е благословен. Да е благословен. Браво! 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 It was late that it was very nice and we enjoyed a lot. Thank you. And now we will go on and uh, we will hear Julia and uh, the poem Easter in German. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I have a poem for you and the poem is from um, Ferdinand von Saar. Um, it's a writer from Austria or it was a writer from Austria um, and the poem refers to um, classical Easter tradition for example Easter eggs but on the other hand it also um, reminds that Easter is also about the resurrection of Christ and yes I like it and I will read it out. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. Um, the poem is called Easter and the poem is in German. So I will read it out in German. Okay. Ostern. Ja, der Winter ging zur Neige. Holder Frühling kommt herbei. Lieblich schwanken Birkenzweige und es glänzt das rote Ei. Schimmernd wehen die Kirchenfahnen bei der Glocken Feierklang und auf oft betretenen Bahnen nimmt der Umzug seinen Gang. Nach dem dumpfen Grab Chorale tönt das Auferstehungslied und empor im Himmelsstrahle schwebt er, der am Kreuz verschied. So zum Schönsten der Symbole wird das frohe Osterfest, dass der Mensch sich Glauben hole, wenn ihn Mut und Kraft verlässt. Jedes Herz, das Leid getroffen, fühlt von Anfang sich durchweht, dass sein Sehen und sein Hoffen immer wieder aufersteht. Okay, thank you. Много добре, много добре, много добре. А сега вече вече следват всичките други темпи, каквото се записал да проведе. Сега е едно момиче, се говори, сега не знам кой ще бъде. Казаков ли е наред, нямам представа. Изпълненията почват... Hello everybody, it's nice to be here and nice to talk a bit um, about our German Easter traditions, what I found out. So I don't have to repeat why we celebrate Easter, but here in Germany one very important tradition or custom is that the Easter bunny, I have made some um, ye uh, yeast or, uh, pastries to show, so the Easter bunny, or it can look also like these, they are bringing colored eggs and they are hiding them. And I tell a bit why, what I found out. So earlier it was in Germany or historically, it's typical that um, not just the bunny uh, was the Easter messenger. Also, it was a, could have been a fox, a raven or a cuckoo. But um, the bunnies um, and rabbits have an amazing power of fertility. So that is maybe one of the reasons why the bunnies are bringing eggs because the spring is also about new life um, 
and rebirth uh, like the bunnies also so there are quite a lot uh, uh, um, parallel things so about easter and um, spring it's there is definitely a reason for why we celebrate easter and spring um, yes and then we have colored eggs in germany so the question is why are those colored um, it's a bit different than in bulgaria what we have heard last week um, the reason is that in the 40 days before easter it wasn't allowed to eat eggs like meat and um, milk uh, diary so um, the people collected the eggs uh, cooked them and colored them not to mix them up with the raw eggs and the people um, also in the past like to or already in middle age like to give eggs as a present for kids who well behaved or um, couples who were in love like to give each other some eggs as a sign of fertility the church didn't like that custom so much and forbid it so the people start to hide the eggs and that can be the reason why we these days are searching for easter eggs another another um important symbol is the lamp here i hope you see or we, I have made it also as a Easter, very traditional Easter lamb, what we have here in Germany with sponge cake. Um, we eat lamb at Christmas because it is also a symbol for Jesus, uh, since Jesus sacrificed himself like a lamb for us people. And I have the chicken well, that I forgot, because the chicken lays, especially at spring, uh, many eggs and then i have still one symbol what has not directly to do with easter it's a snail but a snail is a, a symbol for spring and also for resurrection so i thought it um is like everything is just a, um, the symbols are fitting really to spring and easter yes okay that was it basically already what i found out thank you very much carmen Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Very nice. She prepared uh, all this uh, by herself. And uh, I think she will write the text uh, down what she explained now, so you can translate it in your languages and explain to the others. Thank you. Now I ask. Uh, oh, down. Not confident sound, Danke. I ask Ernst and Gabriele Burman uh, to sing us a song, and it's a special song because, as you know, it's Eastern today in Germany, and they are both Swiss, and they have a very, I think, incredible German religious song uh, for you. For to enjoy this day, but I think they will uh, explain a little bit simple. Es ist der Standen Jesus Christ, der an dem Kreuz gestorben ist, dem sei Lob er zu aller Christ. Alleluia, 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 gelobet sei Christus Mariens Sohn. Er hat zerstört der hellen Tag und all die Sein herausgeführt und uns erlöst vom ewigen Tod. Halleluja, 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 gelobet sei Christus Mariens Sohn. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. I think everybody understood Hallelujah, Hallelujah, and uh, perhaps you like to greet in a special way, Gabriele, all this assembly. For Ostern. For Ostern, happy Easter for all of you. Thank you for coming and thank you for singing this song. And you will find the translation of this song uh, in your mail. But you understood. Be happy, be happy in this time of Eastern. It's God coming. He suffered for us, but he's coming and he's helping us. And uh, the story you know. So thank you very much. And now we will have um, a special thing. Perhaps you know it. And I ask also. You please turn out the music in the background. What is it? It's a part of the Bulgarian presentation. Yes, Emily. Emily. I'm here. So it's up to you and to your husband. Okay. We will we'll explain about uh, this uh, Velik Den or Great Day or Easter in Bulgaria. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the is one of the most significant holidays in the Bulgarian calendar. The egg uh, is a religious uh, symbol, but uh, in our culture, this symbol of is happy. For this reason, the first egg is red. And uh, we, we kept it the next sister. And if for the whole year this X is good, then uh, it will, uh, it is uh, it means that in the future, the next year, we will be successful, happy for the whole family. Maybe we'll bring help to the whole family. Especially on the Easter table, there is X painted X and Kozunak special sweet bread. And uh, family, neighbors, and friends greet each other and give painted eggs and cosonacs. Not only on the Easter, but uh, the week after that. According to one of the most famous religion or Easter tradition in Bulgaria, um, the people fight with eggs. <laughs> they try to break their op uh, opponent's egg by tapping it with their own egg. The person with the egg left unbroken is the winner, or Borak. It is believed that this person will be lucky for the next year. So, I will show you with my husband how we make uh, this fight. But you have to know that the most important thing is that children always have to be winner in the X fight. There are wooden X especially for this aim. Also Volgan I saw has got wooden X. This is from uh, Romania wooden X. This is also so, um, but uh, for this reason that there exist wooden eggs, some jokers, uh, jokers ask the adult winner to crack the eggs on his or her forehead to break it in order to make sure that the eggs is not wooden. Also, there are some tricks if you'd like to have uh, very sturdy painted X and to be the winner. My husband has got private trick. I also have got one. But re regular tricks are 
the point in which you will bow, bow the eggs must not be too big. The bottom of the pot must be covered uh, with a piece of cloth, adding salt to the water, fortify the eggs, or in other words, makes it stronger. Never add vinegar because uh, the eggs will be soft. The eggs must be boiled for a minimum of eight minutes. And also the eggs can be dipped into a gelatin solution. This is optional. And after that, they can be painted. So now I will show it with my husband. He, the first egg is red. We beat, <laughs> we, we fight by tapping uh, front to front and after that back to back. Yeah, so can you see that he, he, he put his hand because, <laughs> because I like to, to, to tip, to tipping outside, uh, not on the top but outside and uh, I will grow his egg. So now I can put my eggs on here. Ah, mine. Now back to back. Oh, I got mine. So he is the winner, but my family, of course. Thank you. We have got broken eggs. Two of us, we can continue with other. This is not strong uh, competition, not strong fighting. This is just for pleasure. So there also exist different kinds of eggs. This is from Galatz, uh, our colleagues from Third Age University prepare. This is just to be beat. So fried eggs with your children, with your grandchildren, to be pleasure uh, on uh, Easter time. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Ich können wir ja auch die Tradition gerade mal zeigen. Ein Moment, bis wir euch auf dem Bildschirm haben. Oh, ich habe hier drei. Hier ist nicht so dritt. Dann machst du jetzt. Dann Aber hier. Ja, super. Ja, super. Hat noch jemand? Ach, guck mal, das ist das auch mal. Aber dann kann ich. Wir machen das jetzt auch mal. Also, wir müssen das. Emily, ist okay so? Okay. <lacht> Ja, Now we have uh, the presentation of Thomas and Margaret. They will sing a song, Have You Loved Today Already? And I think this is very, very important. And to us, have you loved today already? Up to you. Yes, this is a song which we would have sung if our grandchildren would have been on visit uh, today, that's why why we thought we bring it to you. It's a, it's a song about uh, yeah. Did you have a good laugh today? And um, and how how laughing can help you? Uh, um, yes. So this is what we got from them in a package. Uh, what they what they baked and what they uh, did for us uh, with the little Easter bunnies and and I think the this wooden one is really nice. So we have a, a whole collection of uh, Easter bunnies now in the house. So yeah, we're going to sing this song. Uh, we're, uh, you will get the translation, I guess, uh, in the minutes. Hast du heute schon gelacht? 
so von innen raus, weil es Freude macht, bist du richtig aufgewacht. Hast du heute schon, sag, hast du heute schon, sag, hast du heute schon gelacht. Als ein Dankeschön, dass du da sein darfst, auch wenn nicht immer alles so passt. Dass du reden kannst und auch singen vielleicht, wo ein Wort einfach nicht mehr reicht. Hast du heute schon gelacht? Schwer von innen raus, weil es Freude macht, bist du richtig aufgewacht. Hast du heute schon, sag, hast du heute schon, sag, hast du heute schon gelacht? Als ein Dankeschön, dass es Menschen gibt, die dich mögen, gerade so wie du bist. Dass du atmen kannst, so ganz tief und frei, und du bist wieder neu dabei. Hast du heute schon gelacht? So von innen aus, weil es Freude macht, bist du richtig aufgewacht. Hast du heute schon, sag, hast du heute schon, sag, hast du heute schon gelacht? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I think now super, we have to love. If we have this day, but now it's very nice and your presentation was full of art. Thank you very much. So now we will go to Romania and to hear about traditions in the <laughs> Christina, you will come later after Romania. After Romania. Uh, after Serbia. I will uh, I will uh, name you. Okay. <laughs> so Anna, please. Yes, uh, I would like to tell you about the Easter traditions in Romania. But first, I want to tell you that uh, also the tradition of breaking the eggs, we have the same as in Bulgaria. But uh, in Romania, it is very important for us the words what uh, are said during this uh, tradition. Because when someone uh, is uh, break uh, at one uh, uh, end the eggs, it says uh, uh, Christos Ambiat, Christ. Right has uh, risen, and the other person says, Adavarat uh, Viat, he's uh, risen indeed. The words uh, that are said are very important for us, being very religious. Just uh, to translate, uh, in Rumänisch or in Romanian, macht man auch diesen Gebrauch, aber wenn man diese Eier aufeinander stößt, sagt der eine, du bist erstanden, und der andere sagt, er ist wahrhaft auferstanden. Yes, and uh, now I would like to uh, sh uh, show you uh, a little presentation about our traditions with uh, photos from our uh, archives from the Writers League. In a second. Yes, and uh, uh, because you know in Romania we are almost uh, uh, 20 millions and uh, the most important uh, celebration is uh, the Easter. So, um, one moment. Yes, at uh, midnight, the resurrection uh, service is done and people are going to the church. Uh, the people are going with the candles to light them from the priest uh, candle because uh, uh, it's very important for us to take from the church the holy uh, light uh, when we are in the dark in the uh, church uh, priests are calling uh, three times for us telling us uh, come and take light beneath the la lumina and then all the people inside the church are taking the holy light from the priest and uh, uh, the priest says Christ has risen, and we all respond, uh, he's risen uh, indeed. The liturgy lasts for about uh, two hours, and then we receive the holy bread, sprinkled with uh, wine, in Romanian Pasht, and uh, we take uh, home the holy light. It's very important to us to, to uh, take this light to home, 
uh, because uh, uh, all the year when we have problems, we uh, light the candle uh, again. Uh, the next day we are going to the church and also uh, we are going to the cemeteries. And uh, in the villages, as you can see in these uh, pictures, the people are wearing traditional Romanian clothes and uh, they are going and have memorial service in the cemeteries. Yes, and uh, this uh, religion is very alive in the rural, uh, rural areas. After 40 days of, uh, 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 of um, fast, we are celebrating Easter with uh, a great meal where we have uh, Easter eggs, sweet, and also lamb cooked in uh, different uh, ways. And uh, I have here also a very, the egg is on the table, also on my picture. Yes, it is very dear to me and uh, typical for Romanians. And also on the table, you can see there are four uh, red eggs. They are all made with uh, the help of uh, onion uh, skins because we usually make these uh, with uh, naturally. Yes, and here they are uh, Romanians breaking the Easter eggs, also from the members from the Writers League. Uh, I, uh, said, I write here the words, Christ has risen, he is truly risen, because every time we knock the eggs, we are saying that. Here is in Romanian. You can see here is uh, Simona from the uh, last uh, Easter. Here is uh, Anna Giaur. And uh, I hope that uh, this year, because of the corona, we can't uh, bring home the holy light, but uh, uh, maybe some volunteers are bringing from the churches uh, to our uh, doors. I hope this will happen. I will tell you next uh, Sunday. I wish you all happy Easter. Thank you. Thank you, Anna, for this Thank you very much. Thank you. And we see that some uh, are very similar. And I ask now Otilia to explain why we have a difference in our Easter time and Eastern in the Orthodox Church. Yes. Um, wait, wait, wait. Can <laughs> Up to you. Yeah, okay. So, um, maybe you, Leonard, can you put all of them on mute? Because I heard a lot of noises. Uh, yes, thank you. So, yeah, I would like to, to before I start with, uh, with this problem, why do we celebrate uh, Easter on a different time? I would like to also to say uh, another tradition, which I, I don't know if, if this is only in Romania or if this is regional for the region where I come from, from Romania. But we had this, uh, uh, as I was um, a little child, we used to wake up on the Eastern Sunday very, very early uh, as children because uh, the tradition says that when you wake up and you go into the bathroom to wash your face, you will find a glass of water, a full glass of water, and in this glass, uh, there were, was money inside it, but not like, uh, um, how to say, shiny. There's like, um, yeah, was a couple of money. And if you were the first child who washes um, his face with this water, you could have take, taken the money out of the glass. So I had a brother, a twin brother, so it was a very hard competition to get the money. And I, I, always, I was the first, but I had to share the money with him. But I, I don't know if this is regional, but I had this and I come from the northeastern part of Romania and we had this at home and also at my grandparents' uh, parents' home. Yeah, so, but I don't know if this regional, I don't know if Anna had, had it, I, I had no idea. Yes, so uh, now I will, I will, st I also have a, a PowerPoint presentation. I will share my um, screen. But before I do this, um, I wanted to say I have my slides in three languages. So I will speak, I think I will speak in German, but you will be able to read it in German, English, and Romanian. I'm sorry, I do not know Bulgarian. So I only have, have this in three languages. So as I speak, you will be able to read what I am speaking. 
in your language or in English. So I will share my screen now. Yes, so. Yeah, so um, the question maybe you ask is why do we, when do we uh, sell on one fire in the oyster? And the frage is immer vielleicht, wenn man um, sein Urlaub plant oder wenn man möchte, wissen möchte, uh, wann feiern wir Ostern nächstes uh, Jahr, dann fra fragen wir uns immer, wann ist denn Ostern nächstes Jahr oder wann feiern wir denn Ostern. Und eigentlich gibt es eine ganz einfache Antwort auf diese Frage und das ist immer am ersten Sonntag nach dem Frühlingsvollmond. Es hört sich sehr einfach an, aber genau diesen ersten Sonntag äh, auszurechnen ist überhaupt nicht einfach. Vor allem, wenn man sieht, dass die Orthodoxen und äh, die Katholiken und Protestanten anders, äh, an einem anderen Datum Ostern feiern. Ähm, und genau, und dann die Frage ist, warum feiern wir nicht Ostern gleichzeitig? Ich meine, Jesus kann nicht zweimal auferstanden, warum feiern wir das nicht gleichzeitig? Und der Grund dafür ist, dass das Datum des Osterns, es berechnet sich nach unterschiedlichen Kalendern. Also es gibt, ich mache jetzt einfach weiter, es gibt zwei Kalender, nach dem Ostern berechnet wird. Die Ostkirchen, also zum Beispiel die orthodoxe Kirche, feiert Ostern oder berechnet diesen Osterdatum, also den Ostersonntag, nach dem julianischen Kalender. Und diesen julianischen Kalender wurde von Julius Caesar entwickelt, das kennen alle. Und der Julius Caesar hat damals gesagt, das Jahr sollte 365 und Tage 25. Das Problem dabei war aber, dass dieser Kalender war dem Sonnenjahr, oh, Entschuldigung, der war halt dem Sonnenjahr um 11 Minuten um 14 Sekunden zu lang. Was bedeutet das? Also dieses Jahr war also einfach zu lang. Aber jedes Jahr, oh, so, aber jedes Jahr wurde dann das, 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 das wurde zu einer zunehmenden Abweichung des Tagesdatums von dem tatsächlichen Sonnenlauf. Zum Beispiel im 14. Jahrhundert waren ja mehr als sieben Tage Später. Und jetzt zum Beispiel in diesem 20. Jahrhundert sind wir 13 Tage schon, schon, schon als Unterschied. Und was passierte dann? Dann wurde der gregorianischen, also den zweiten Kalender, den gregorianischen Kalender als Problemlöser ähm, äh, entwickelt bzw. Ähm, eingeführt. Und das wurde äh, nach diesem Kalender zum Beispiel berechnen die Katholiken und die Protestanten den Ostern. Und diesen Kalender wurde im, 15, im Jahr 1582 von dem Papst Gregor XIII. Ähm, eingeführt, diesen Kalender, der wurde auch nach ihm benannt. Und der hatte einfach eine verbesserte Schaltjahresrechnung. Und vielleicht lasse ich noch kurz zum Lesen. Und was, was heißt das? Ähm, der hat einfach, also der Papst hat einfach gesagt, ähm, am Donnerstag, den, auf, auf dem Donnerstag, den 4. Oktober, folgte nicht dem 5. Oktober, sondern der folgte direkt den, der Freitag, den 15. Oktober, genau um, diese, um diesen Zeitverlauf, genau um diese Lücke quasi zu decken. Und das ist auch der Grund, warum wir jetzt im Verlauf, also im, warum wir die Orthodoxen den Ostertag auch anders berechnen als die, die Katholiken und die Protestanten und warum wir das an unterschiedlichen Tagen feiern. So. Und hier ist einfach eine kurze, uh, ein kurzer Überblick. So, uh, I will say it now in uh, English. So this is a small like a uh, table where you can see uh, that in 2017 we uh, celebrated Easter together. So the Orthodox and the Catholic Church. But the next time, the next year, when we will do this in 2025, we'll, it will be on the 20th of April. But the year before, on 2000, uh, 2024, we have a very big gap between the Catholics, the Catholics and the Orthodox Church. So in Romania, it is also said that every four years we celebrate together, but this is not true. Not every four years. Yeah. So this is it. It's a very small introduction 
if you want to read more, I have a lot of resources uh, which I used in my PowerPoint. I will send it to you. You can read a lot of this uh, Jul um, Gregorian and Julian calendar, how the days are, um, how, how you can, I don't know, um, how you can calculate everything because it's very complicated. So I didn't want to put it here. But uh, this is the reason why we celebrate it. Um, we, we don't celebrate Easter on the same day. And I know in Germany it's very confusing because every, for example, my colleagues, I, I come from Romania, but I live in Germany and I have a lot of German friends. I actually have only German friends, most of them. And they all uh, um, uh, congratulate me, so happy Easter. And I'm saying, no, I don't celebrate Easter today. And they're like, what, why? And I was like, no, because my Easter is one week later or is in April or it is, and they're like, why? And they, they don't understand And now. And then I explained them like, oh, really? Oh, I, I didn't know it. And they Google it and I said, whoa, wow, interesting. I never heard of it, for example. So, before continuing, I would like to greet also Elsa and Tanya uh, from Ulm and Aurel from Timiswada and Martin from Novisat who joined us a little bit later. Very welcome. Nice. And nice. now uh, I would like to ask Eleonora to explain what is your tradition for Easter? Uh, so, if you are in Serbia next Sunday, you are going to hear these words quite a lot. Christos Vaskerse, Vaistino Vaskerse. Those are the words you use to greet others when you see them on Orthodox Easter. Christ resurrected, indeed resurrected. The holiday is especially welcome because it comes in spring, coinciding most years with warmer weather and the other king of nature. In Serbia, Easter means a lot of traditions. Spending time with your loved ones, fasting, coloring e eggs, and playing and praying. Good Friday is a widely overused day of fasting fish, potatoes, baking beans, and a lot of vegetables or, are on the menu, as well as certain sweets. Children and, and adults look forward to the Easter tradition of dyed eggs. Mother, grandmothers, and daughters gather on Good Friday, barley and dye eggs, while the whole family practice in decorating them. Eggs symbolize the life Jesus promised to believe. It is easy to decorate eggs with stickers, but the real skin is decorating eggs the Serbian way with onion skins and flowers. If you want your egg to be purple, you then use red onion skin. If you want them brown, then use black onion skin. Egg dyeing inevitably leads to Easter's second most lovely egg the Easter morning. Ask why. Ever fix a favorite egg and compress its strength by smashing one egg against the other. The surviving egg is the champion. Eggs that survive the wars are often giving us presents. The most important egg is very first on the that is dyed always a red one. Traditionally, it is held throughout the year right until the next year Easter. Christos Vaskerse, Vaskerse, my dear friends, I wish you all happy Easter. Thank you. So there are some pictures that Eleonora sent to us uh, for her presentation so we can see. Bravo, bravo. So nice. Mm. <laughs> it's a tapping.
And this is from the egg skin, I think, right? Eleonora, thank you very much. It was very interesting bravo, bravo. you proposed, but also to hear you, uh, especially you, it was fine and thank you. So you have been the youngest until now and I hope there will be other young uh, joining us for these sessions. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, bravo, bravo. Bravo, bravo. Ja, okay, nice. Also, ich einfach mal drüber gucken. So, I would like to oh, ask uh, Victoria, you are coming from Russia. Exactly, we have a very, very similar tradition um, about uh, the eggs. Uh, Leonard, can you show a couple of pictures that I prepared? No. Uh, yes. Uh, so I wanted to show, <laughs> this is my boyfriend, we're building furniture right now. So here you can see the, the Russian tradition of, um, um, you know, you, you have your, you prepare your eggs, you prepare your um, cakes, and then you go to the church, and then uh, the priest uh, sprays it with the holy water. So this is a nice tradition that brings the family together. And um, uh, can you please mute? Uh, yeah, yeah. Not? Um, exactly. So everybody goes to the church and then uh, they wait for the priest to spray uh, the cakes and eggs with the holy water. And then um, you see um, on another picture that Leonard is going to play right now that we have also uh, many ways uh, to paint the eggs and many ways to bake the cake. Um, so um, the cake can consist uh, of flour and yeah, exactly. This is the picture. So it can consist of uh, flour and eggs, um, or it can also consist, as you see on the uh, picture next to it, it can also consist of um, cottage cheese. And it says um, Christos Vaskres, so this is hard. So it's, as you see, the picture X is uh, Christ, Christos, and, and B, that is um, in, in English is B, but in Russia it's V. Uh, Christos Vaskres, the Christ has risen. And you put these two letters always on the cake. And as you see also the eggs, we also use a lot uh, the onions to paint the eggs or just some... Um, other other things, for example, spinach to get the green color and also maybe the colors that you can buy in the shop. So there are different ways. But we, in my family, we did it the natural way. We did it with onion always. Thanks a lot. In Bulgaria, I also use Christos Voskresi. Christos Voskresi, Vaistino Voskresi. Voskresi, exactly. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Thank you, Victoria. So it was uh, just a small few, but an interesting and nice few uh, in, to Russia. And I hope that all speakers will send us a text they presented and so we can put it in our uh, website and then you can read uh, after the different traditions uh, in your way and we can make translation. Thank you very much. Now we ask Christina Marinova to sing us a song, which is a very nice song coming from a Bulgarian uh, writer, Emil Dimitrov, and it's called in English, If You Have Given. And I think I will read the first text line because it's very important in our days, in time of Corona, to think about. The first is if you have given to the hungry one, even a tiny crumb from your bread, hast du schon einem Hungrigen ein Krümmelchen von deinem Brot gegeben? If you have given to the wanderer, even a tiny spark from your fire, wenn du einem Wanderer ein bisschen von deinem Feuer abgegeben hast. Ach, if you have given to the dear one of your heart, wenn du jemand 
den du liebst, ein bisschen von deinem Herz gegeben hast. If you have given yeah. strangers life from yourself, wenn du einem Fremden einen Teil von deinem Leben gegeben hast, wenn du gegeben hast, wenn du das gegeben hast, dann wird es so sein, dass wir alle miteinander gut leben können. Und this is the content, das ist der Inhalt von dem Lied, das Christina jetzt uns singen wird. Christina from Ruse. Ako si dal negladnija, duri trošice hljab od svoje hljab. Ako si dal neskitnike, duri iskrice ogen od svoje ogen. Ako si dal nemilete od svoje to srce. Ako si dal nečuždite život od sebe si. Ako si dal, ako si dal, ako si dal od sebe si, ne si živjal, ne si živjal na prazno, niko i ne može da ti odneme. Obić šta, obić šta na hore ta. Niko i ne može da ti ja vzeme ljubov ta, ljubov ta, kam hore ta. I niko i ništo ne šteti od nema. Vjara te v tjah, vjara te v tjah, vjara te v tjah. Ti zakasnjavaš po njakoga istino, no vinegi idvaš, idvaš pri nas. Ti zakasnjavaš po njakoga istino, no vinegi idvaš, idvaš pri nas. Thank you. For solidarity with all people in European Union. Bravo, Christina. Bravo, 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 bravo. Bravo. Thank you, thank you. Very good singer. You're a very good singer, but also the text is so nice and important. If you have given of yourself, you haven't lived, you haven't lived in vain. And weiter unten heißt dann noch mal, es ist egal, was die anderen sagen. Let them say what they say, but love for the people. No one can take it away from you. Niemand kann es dir wegnehmen, deine Liebe zu den anderen Menschen. Niemand wird es wegnehmen und glaube daran. Glaube in die anderen Menschen und dann wird es auch für uns alle von großer Bedeutung sein. But you always come, come to us. Komm zu uns und lass es uns spüren. Ich glaube, das brauchen wir gerade alle in diesen Tagen. We need it all for in this very difficult days of Corona, where we are far away from our families uh, and we are uh, all touched by the virus in some way, uh, by illness, by illness of parents, by uh, we physically we, um, those at homes, but we don't forget and we don't and we believe in social context also by new medias will let us be in touch, let us be happy. And uh, for the end of this session, uh, Simon will sing a song and you can move with its uh, spring song and it will give us a song. Have you loved today? Uh, a powerness of all of us. And you will see there is a refrain. And even if we can't sing together because uh, there is a transfer, the transfer of the internet connection is different. And so it's horrible to hear. But at home, you can uh, sing with us. I love the spring. I like the flowers. Up to you, Simon, for to finish the session. Thank you very much. I will make it very easy. I'll just show you the refrain and wait. Um, it's here. So I will first sing it 
in German and then in English. If someone knows the melody, he just can join. I repeat it a couple of times, and after that, I will give a sign to, to finish. And let's try to sing it together. And let's start. Ich lieb den Frühling, ich lieb den Sonnenschein. Wann wird es endlich mal wieder Wimmer sein? Schnee, Eis und Kälte müssen bald vergehen. Die dum di da di dum di da di dum di da di dum di da. I like the flowers, I like the daffodils, I like the mountains, I like the rolling hills. I like the fireside when the lights are low. Di dum da di dum di da di dum di di da di dum di da di dum di da di dum dum di dum di da di dum. Happy Easter to every one of you. Yeah. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Ich denke, dass er schon kapiert hat, Happy dass er niemand mehr kommt. Also, äh, next time. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Bye bye.